dude. Beautiful, dude. Good shit. Whew. All right. No deaths past the dual wave, actually. That was 50 to 100, which, um, the dual wave is the hardest part. This level's weird. This level's definitely weird. I do think it's overrated. I do think it needs to go down probably like a few spots. But uh, let me show you what the hardest parts of the level are, because it's, it, it's, a, it's a strange level to play from zero. The hardest parts are this part, which doesn't look too bad, but when you turn on hitboxes, you can see... That, yeah, it's it's actually way tighter than it looks. And, uh, yeah, these, these are brutal hitboxes. But past that, everything's pretty consistent. But this is still consistent as well. I, I anything can be consistent, but, like, this stuff isn't that hard to make consistent. And then there's, uh, this part as well right here is also pretty fucked. So, uh, doing runs from zero, this did take me a little bit longer than I was expecting. In the sense that, like, it, it, it took me a bit to get a run past the dual wave that was, like, or just past the dual wave in general. But I am glad that I ended up beating it my first run pass because this could have been pretty painful. Uh, I'll do attempts now. This was actually fun. This is definitely my new favorite wave level. <laughs> I mean, the, the the wave is just like, you know, maybe it's not the hardest part, but it is definitely the part that, that takes the most skill in general. Let's see, 579. And 173. This is another level that I had to learn from the ground up. I did not know this level before going into it. I had I had seen it a couple times, but I didn't know it very well at all. So I did have to learn this from the ground up. It did take me a thousand attempts or so, but past that I was just practicing for consistency and getting everything getting everything down and, and making it consistent and getting myself ready to do runs. And I definitely practiced just the right amount. That was good. That didn't take me too long at all. Um, as for where it should be on the list, I think the list is like... Well, let's see. Let's take a look at the list, shall we? It's definitely, it's definitely too high, I think. That was not harder than Supersonic 125 at all. Let's see, uh, Arrhenio is currently above Ultrasonic and above Bit Reaper and above Supersonic. I think Supersonic should probably go above Bit Reaper and I think that this should go probably below, it might even go below Stalemate, honestly. Cause Stalemate's kind of fucked in some spots. It, it might go all the way down to 22, honestly. It's really not that hard. It does take some skill, but... Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about it more. We'll think about it more. Um, this is another level that requires a lot of raw skill. You have to be good at wave, especially, like, very weird, like... You have to be good at wave and also identifying where to be in a certain space. Because if you're just in the middle in that dual wave, then you're dead. You have to be more, like... You have to be offset in some in some way, and if that's weird for you, then you're gonna have trouble. And you have to be you have to go have some TPS as well, just for that one part in the spider. Uh, other than that, though, again, it's really not that bad. I'd actually recommend. That was fun. I wasn't recording. God fucking damn it! I'm gonna have to use a highlight. Maybe that's why I beat it kind of quick, because <laughs> I was getting less lag. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. That kind of sucks. Whatever, that's fine.